Hi and welcome everyone to Fit Up with Lynette. As a physical therapist, I have noticed that many people underestimate the importance of compression wrap immediately after an injury. When you apply a crepe bandage properly to a sprained ankle or a wrist, it will hold that joint in a fixed position to avoid increase in inflammation and also prevent further tearing of ligaments. In today's video, I will show you the right method to wrap a crepe bandage. Let's go. For ankle joint, you start with wrapping just below the toes. Make sure the ankle is in neutral position. That means the toes are pointing upwards. After doing a couple of circles, we will continue with the figure of 8 pattern. Watch closely as this is very important. The wrap goes in a number of 8 pattern as it goes over the ankle joint then comes below the joint. Keep doing this for 3 to 4 rounds. As you are wrapping the joint, keep the pressure firm as it will help maintain stability. We will finish off by applying the clips and a quick check and there it is. Before I move on to the wrist joint, a quick reminder guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, the link is right here and also click on the bell icon. And now let's continue. For the wrist joint, we'll follow the same pattern as the ankle. Few wraps around the hand to start with, then we go into the figure of 8 pattern again. Make sure that you don't apply the crepe bandage too close to the thumb. Then we end up by applying the last few rounds around the wrist joint for stability. I'll do a quick check to see if everything is alright. I'm also asking my patient to move the thumb and all the fingers. Free movement of all the fingers is important for good blood circulation and to avoid joint stiffness. That's the end of my video for today. Next time you sprain an ankle or any other joint, you don't have to wait for somebody else to do it for you. You can do your own compression bandage. Take care. See you next time. Bye.